Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to show you today how to update your Mural Volume 1 library to the latest version. This is version 1.1. Uh, it's released today, which is uh, Wednesday the 7th of May 2014. First thing to do is go to the Library Manager page on our website, grab the latest version of the Library Manager, and then log in. Um, once you've received your email to let you know that, um, that your update is ready to download, then you will see it appear here in Available. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to prepare our existing Mural Strings library. Now, in line with what we've done with Sable, we're going to change the name of this, this folder so that we can just download stuff into it directly. So we'll do that first. And what we're going to do is we're just going to rename it Spitfire BML Mural Library. Same as the way we've labelled the uh, Sable one. Make sure that there's no trailing space at the end here because that will confuse the downloader. The downloader will be ready to look for that inside your uh, your folder, your enclosing folder, wherever that is. So we'll talk about that in a minute. So here we go. We've got our existing folder here. I'm going to rename my um, instruments for file to Legacy Instruments so I can keep those. Um, and that's that's really literally all you need to do. So. Um, the next thing we do is we go to the download library manager. Um, we're gonna we've highlighted this one, Mural uh, Volume One. It says ready to download. It's the main mics only at this stage. The um, stereo mixes and alt mics are coming next week, and we're just going to click download. It'll ask us where we want to put this. The, we don't want to put it in the default location. So I'm going to the location that um, I just showed you, and that is my folder, my enclosing folder is called BML Strings. Inside that is the BML Mural Library that we just renamed. That's the Volume 1 um, library. Um, so I don't select that. I select the enclosing one because the downloader will look inside the folder you select for the library folder. So I'm going to click Open, and then I'm going to click download and then our download will start the library manager will queue up the relevant parts uh, grab them from from the server update your folder and then it moves to installed and you'll see uh, if we look inside here we now have um, our new instruments folder here with all of the relevant bits and pieces inside you see that we've got the new uh, core palette, decorative palette, and legato performance palette. Um, it's for this reason that we set that we renamed the old folder legacy instruments because we want to keep those separate. It becomes a little bit confusing if you end up with um, lots of different uh, versions of the same files. Um, so we've got our documentation folder and we've got our replacement script which as you can see has a, an updated date here on the NKR. The final thing that you need to do uh, and this doesn't always need to be done, but um, we recommend doing it anyway, is the cache file, the NKC file, we just delete that move it to the trash. The next time you open the library, it will recreate that, and it just means that you don't get any stray bits of old uh, script code encroaching on your instruments. And that is it. That's how to update BML Mural Volume 1 to the latest version, which is version 1.1. When we release volume two of Mural tomorrow, um, your library will be, uh, your library folder is ready there. And all you need to do is select again, this enclosing folder to download volume two into. And it, it also looks for the same, the same folder. This is a great way to do things. It'll populate your samples with all the new volume two samples. It'll add the instruments into here as well. And this is a much easier way of doing it than trying to combine stuff by hand. So um, we've set it up so that everything now um, is configured to go into these uh, one of these two general overall library folders. So I hope that explains how to update. Um, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.